If you looked up into the sky last night, you might have seen uh, a bit of a light show. We got a lot of calls into our newsroom last night about those mysterious lights in the sky. Take a look. Some new video out of San Joaquin County. One of the many videos and the photos that we've been getting. Look at that. They were seen as far north as Sacramento. And take a look at this. This picture was taken up near Sacramento in Elk Grove. Everyone clearly stunned to see this like a parade of lights. Here in the Bay Area, this was a site uh, taken from Sebastopol. Tonight we're getting a better idea of exactly what those lights are all about. Joining us now with some answers is Chabot Space Center astronomer Gerald McKeegan. Uh, first of all, thanks very much for taking the time to explain this because I think some people have some serious questions about this. Let me ask you that question. What was sure. that? What was that? <laughs> Well, what you saw was the breakup of a communications module that had been attached to the International Space Station. Uh, it was taken to the space station in 2009 by a, a space shuttle mission. Uh, it was a, attached to the exterior of the uh, space station. In 2020, after they were no longer using it, they detached it and just let it drift in orbit and eventually that orbit decayed and it re-entered the atmosphere over central california uh, last night at about 9 35 or so was that the plan all along to just cut it loose and have it drift back and give us all a a light show or i guess in some people's cases a bit of a scare <laughs> Well, yeah, the plan was to let it uh, drift back and, and eventually re-enter the Earth's atmosphere. The hope was that it would uh, re-enter on the next orbit where it would be out over the Pacific Ocean. So, uh, you know, most of the Earth is covered by water. So, so when they do these, most of the time they enter over the ocean. But this one happened to come down uh, a little bit earlier than than was expected, and it came down over Central California and you know, put on a great light show. Did any uh, any parts of that slam down into Earth? I, I doubt it, but it's certainly possible. But uh, this was a relatively small module. It was a communications module attached to the Japanese laboratory on the space station. And uh, it was only about six feet or seven feet in size, and it, likely most of it broke up and burned up in the atmosphere. Well, what you saw actually was happening 25, 30 miles up in the atmosphere as it uh, first encountered uh, the, the thin air at, at that altitude, and friction caused it to burn up and uh, break apart. And you could clearly see that that's what was happening as it was coming down. Well, I got to tell you, I was on. Uh, I was looking at social media when this first started being observed. There were many different uh, observations as to what this was. A lot of people saying yeah. it looked like a, a fleet of, of UFOs. Uh, let me just ask you this, kind of out of left field: UFOs. Do you think there is life out there as well? Do you? I don't know if you want to ask the question. Do you believe in UFOs? But do you think there are there's some some creatures out there that might be coming around this way? I, I'm almost certain there is life elsewhere in the universe. However, whether there's intelligent life capable of space flight to the Earth, I'm pretty doubtful that, that that's the case. There may be intelligent life out there, but uh, long-range space travel between the stars is, is a pretty horrendous uh, lift, and it's, it's very doubtful that uh, that's going to happen. But life uh, in some form is likely to exist out in the universe. All right. Gerald McKeegan from Chabot, thank you so much for taking the time on the Saturday afternoon to, uh, to, to, to calm us down. Appreciate Great. it. Great. All right. Thank you very much.